Hey y'all, this is Bradley Vincent of Bradley Teaches. Today we're going to take it down a little notch and mellow out with a subdued weight screen. Stay tuned. We're going to have basically three different shapes. So square, let's do a blue square. Uh, another shape, we'll do a green square, another shape, and we'll do a green square, but I'll make it light green. All right, so we basically have our information bar on one side and our graphic on the other, right? And let's zoom out a little more so we can see all the edges. That's way too far, but okay. So you just want to make one of your squares a fairly decent size to kind of cover up three-fourths of your screen, right? Then we have our bottom bar. This is where your timer is going to go. Then you have your top bar where your information is going to go. So this is basically your subdued screen look, right? You can build it in whatever brand colors you want, but this is the basic look of that. So I'm going to do this with just icons right now. But first, you know, um, I had text on mine, so let's do some text. You know, and you can be dynamic with your text, do some cool stuff with it. Let me go to Helvetica, I mean Impact again, and kick this stuff up. So this is kind of a rough version of mine, right? Because everybody's graphic is different, so I don't necessarily have to show you with my graphic, I'll show you with some other stuff. So Bradley Vincent, I did my last name in a little bit thinner font, just so to have some, some drama or whatever. And, you know, so kind of do some different stuff with fonts, right? Um, I'm gonna copy and paste that, just so I don't have to type again. And I'm gonna say, cool stuff and that icon or that symbol I use is the shift diagonal line cool stuff cool stuff just cool you know your tagline essentially right and I'm gonna use Futura and it doesn't have to be that big so got the cool stuff cool stuff and I'll put that beneath it not even Change the color of that line to something else. All right, so there's the name, there's your tagline, right? So now on this side is where you would put today's show is about. Like for mine, I put, you know, um, lower thirds, weight screens, and I think I put something extra, right? And then show begins in and your timer so the timer you would add in um, ecamm um, all this text on this side i would add an ecamm i wouldn't add it in keynote because now you can dynamically change this whenever you want to in ecamm you don't have to keep rebuilding the animation right but this part is part of the graphic so i put my name and things there so now let's just say that my logo i don't know I think I'm a star. Let's just say I'm a star. <laughs> right? So option shift. Uh-oh. And drag out. So that's my logo. Right? Now, to do the kind of throbbing thing, right? So now what I do, now in this instance, so I'm going to make it look like my logo, right? So I'm going to go back to style. I'm going to put a border on it, line border. And we'll make the border white white border let's kick that up okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste that uh oh and I'm gonna do the second star and I'm gonna make the color feel no feel right so now I have a star that has no feel on it let's put that on the bottom for now All right, so now they line up with each other. So now you can't see the second one behind the first one. 
right? So now you have your logo with an outline, then you have just the outline. So, and it's a real simple animation from here. So I'm gonna go to the animate palette and I'm gonna animate, I'm gonna call it line just so we know. I'm gonna animate the line first, right? And I'm gonna animate my line with a build-in effect of drift and scale and preview it. See that? And I can knock it down to make it faster. Now here is the kicker. Let's do this. Let's do a shift click and click both of those because I want to move these down some. All right. So now here's the, here's the kicker. And I'll preview it one more time. Now, as that drift and scale animation happens, there's a little delay in the scale out, right? So now we have that little, okay, I gotta do a little math and play with it a little bit. So we're gonna click on the top star and it won't have a build in, it'll just have an action. And the action on it will be a pop. I think it's pop, yeah. So we have a pop on that, right? And we want to go to build order. And now the star will come out after the line. So after number one starts, but we got to put a decent delay on it. So the pop makes it seem like the star is making the outline pop. So let's preview it. Uh oh, my bad. With build number one with a delay. Let's do it again. So now it's not delaying enough because I want the throb to look like it's spitting out the outline. So now let's kick it up a little more. Try it again. See that? Kick up a little more. Let's try it again. See that now? Because the, the line is drifting and scaling first, but because it's kind of a slow building animation, you have to put that pulse at a point where it's coming out with it with a little delay. So it looks like the pulse is pushing out the drift, right? So you have to kind of play with that to get the drift and the pulse to go together. So let's, let's do it again. And basically now it's done, right? Because once you do this and you export it as an MOV file, you set it up in Ecamm to rotate. And that's all you need, the pulse, the spray. Rotate, pulse, spray. So now let's export this one. And that's, that's as simple as it is, right? But you want you know do the colors that match your thing and stuff like that, you're good to go. Now, here's what I've done before too, and I'll just show it to you. Because as you notice here, the pulse goes out across everything. And it's like, eh, it's kind of a how you feel about it. This is no, no big deal. But what I have done before is I put the line under the two sidebars. So now when you look at it, it only pulses inside the blue. Uh oh, let's preview again. Oh, my bad. You got to put the blue under there too or you're going to miss it. All right. See, so the pulse stays behind the sidebar. And it's just a preference call, kind of whatever you want to do. And let's export it. So file, export, movie file, no delay on the front and back. Custom, 1920. Doesn't have to be Apple ProRes, I just like doing ProRes. I don't know why, I just keep doing it. And let's go back to Keynote. So here's the animation, and I'm going to put it on rotate. So there we go. And, and that's all it is. It's, it's an image and an image with no fill and an outline. And that's all it is. And that's how you make that graphic. Hey, I really hope that this little tutorial was helpful for you. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell so you are alerted whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget, 
leave me comments and questions below because I always check them. And maybe one of your questions will be the subject of a future video. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. I really want to see what you feel about what I'm doing here. And if you want a little head start on your graphics or even need a custom designed video graphics package just for you, drop by my Gumroad page and reach out to me. Well, until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Papa. Be blessed, be free. See y'all soon.